Hello everyone, Kelly Sparta here for Spirit Sherpa Minis. And uh, today I want to talk to you about the energy healing that you need to do in order to heal someone from COVID. I have had a couple of my students have uh, COVID recently and I wanted to tell you what I found when I went to do healing work on them and why the healing work that you're doing may not be uh, working as well as maybe healing some other things does. And so the first thing I want to say is that COVID has, it's not exactly a, a consciousness. Um, it's more of a, it's, it's, it's an entity. Uh, there is a larger entity that, that, covers the whole earth and I actually did some work on that a couple of days ago and it actually gave yay uh it actually dissipated and went away and I was just like oh there is hope right uh, uh so it's got that but individually within each person who gets infected part of that energy is coming into the person almost like being possessed and you have to remove that energy in the same way that you would kick out something that was being, that was possessing someone else. And then you have to do the regular energy clearing process uh, that you would normally do for any other virus or illness or whatever. And so uh, the way that I do this is I've gone in and so, and, and there's another piece that has to have to happen after that too, because the, the entity that is possessing is actually, um, words, uh, it's actually solidifying and like, um, concretizing the energy field of the person, which is how you end up with long COVID, right? So, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through the steps of what I do. So energy healers, listen up. I'm going to tell you how to do this. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to depossess the person. And, um, it's not, it's not like a demon or a ghost or something possessing somebody. It doesn't fight back. Right. So basically what you need to do is you need to call up the spirit of COVID and you need to say it's time for you to go and just like push it up and out through the crown chakra and leave it in and just send it out. Um, and it should dissipate along with everything else that I dissipated when that happens. But yeah, you may want to see about dissipating it. You don't want to leave it loose for it to infect somebody else. Right. Uh, so that's step one is to push it up and out and then, you know, dissipate it or destroy it or whatever. Um, you don't have to get angry with it. It's just, as I said, it's not sentient. Uh, and then the second part that you do is you pull up the energy of all of the uh, virus uh, particles, right? Um, I'm not saying that right, but you know what I mean, the cells, right? So pull up all of the energy of all the virus that's in the body and just like ask it to like brighten up so that you can see it. And then run a sieve through the energy field, just like scan up through the energy field with some white light and have the white light catch all of the virus particles and pull it up. And, and it, you can do it like a bug zapper, right? You don't even have to pull them out of the body. You can just say when the white light hits, they go zzz, 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 and it just kills them, right? And just all the way up through the body. Uh, be very specific about that. If you're going to do the bug zapper, you want it to only do the COVID viruses, cells, not anything else. You don't want to do damage. Um, and you can just bring it all the way up through and just clear the virus that way. Then you need to go in and break up the stuckness that is stuck in the energy field of the person who had the virus. And so uh, that's a more, that's, that's, that's the most challenging part of this is to do that because the, the it, it literally like solidifies the energy field so that the energy field can't move. And so what you want to do is you want to break it up. 
you know, I, I, I do a lot of vibrating with it, right? Just like vibrate it and shake it up and break it up and move it. And literally I have the person like shake so that they will help support that movement process. And then, you know, I'll try and run energy through their field. You know, you can help have them do the tree meditation with you as you're doing this work. Uh, if you don't know the tree meditation, just search for it on the channel here. It's, it's there. And, um, but the point being that you're going to just do that, break it up, clear it, break it up, clear it, break it up, clear it until it clears. And then you want to reestablish the energy flow so that the energy is flowing properly. And so uh, what that means is that the energy comes down through the crown, heads down to the base of the spine, goes back up and back out through the crown chakra, and then does the same thing in reverse, coming up through the feet, up into the body, up to the top of the head, cycling back down and back out again through the feet to the earth. And so you've got a circuit that the body serves as the center of the circuit. And this is how the energy is supposed to be running when they're done, right? Um, and I just did that on screen. If you're listening to this on the podcast, I'm sorry, go look at it on the video. <laughs> it's on YouTube. <laughs> um, and so that's, that's the visual that you need to be working with to reestablish the energy flow. And just make sure that the, that the aura is pinking up and that it looks good, you know, all of that, because you know, depending on how long they've had it, it could be a little challenging to get it to move again. And so, you know, you'll want them to do the tree meditation daily, maybe two, three times a day to, to get things moving. And they may have to come back for a second session if things didn't break up and move easily the first time, but you'll get there eventually if you break through the layers. Okay. Uh, and so that is my instruction on how to do energy healing on a COVID patient. Um, obviously, this is best done remotely so that you don't infect yourself too. Yes, yay, happy. Uh, but that is the best way I have found to clear COVID symptoms as I have been doing this work and I am sharing it with you in the hopes that we can get everybody well. So uh, with that, uh, I, I want to mention to you that I do have a webinar that's a new webinar yay new webinar on what to do if you are having a spiritual awakening and so if you've listened to this out of curiosity and you're like what is all this energy stuff and how does it work and i don't know if i could do that and maybe i could and i'm not sure then you know check out the webinar <laughs> it's it's called uh you've had an experience a, a spiritual awakening now what and you can find it on the home page of my website and uh feel free to check that out it's a free webinar you do have to put your email address in so that i can follow up with you i have I have a follow-up series of emails that go out that help you to learn more. Uh, but if that appeals, then by all means, check that out. Um, my website is kellysparta.com. Go figure. Super simple, spelled K-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, just like you see on your podcast or on the, the YouTube channel here. There is a link in the show notes. And that's it. I will see you all soon.